Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ken Smith. I'm the mayor of the city of Baden. So it's my privilege to welcome um, members of the council to this regularly scheduled city council meeting and members of the public who have uh, taken of your time this evening to attend with us. Uh, we will officially call this meeting to order at 6.03 p.m. and would invite our city clerk to conduct our roll call. Okay. Mayor Smith? Present. Councillor Andy Wilson? Present. Mark Fennison? Present. Joe Shy? Present. Kevin Flynn? Present. And Justin Olson? Present. Excellent. We have a full house. That's exciting. Uh, now, as is customary, we will begin with an invocation. Uh, we invite all to uh, please join with us. I believe that uh, it is my privilege and honor to uh, offer that for us. So please join. <coughs> God, uh, our eternal Father, we are uh, privileged to uh, begin this council meeting uh, with prayer and acknowledge the freedoms of our Constitution to do so. We express our gratitude for the privilege which is ours as elected officials to uh, make decisions which would reflect the wisdom and compassion we have for the residents of this community. We would ask you to bless us with inspiration and to uh, do so in a manner which would uh, elevate the values and, and um, uh, virtues that um, we believe are in the best interest of this community. We're grateful for the veterans uh, who we acknowledge in this um, special time of year who have sacrificed for our freedoms and um, express to be our gratitude and appreciation for them. Uh, we once again express our privilege to serve and to, uh, honor this country and, and this community and would ask you to watch over all that is said and done this evening and to offer these thoughts in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All right, we would now invite all to please arise for our Pledge of Allegiance. And, uh, and Mr. Shai, would you do the honors for us? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> We'll um, proceed with the mayor's report. <coughs> um, I am uh, pleased to um, um, report that uh, it has been uh, an extremely uh, um, uh, contested and um, emotion-laden election cycle for 2015, and that uh, we survived that process. Uh, as of uh, present date, um, uh, I extend um, uh, um, um, appreciation to all who uh, uh, participated in the election, particularly members of the board who uh, have successfully uh, won those elections and the uh, individual seated with us, Senator Ruth Creer, uh, who's emerged victorious from the process. And you would note that there are still two uh, uh, positions that uh, uh, remain to be decided. <coughs> Uh, but that the, uh, all the election results will be certified by November 23rd. So we uh, look forward to that date. I understand uh, that there are still 14 ballots uh, to be tabulated. So um, yeah, that um, is going to uh, represent uh, some uh, anticipation, I think, for the residents of Bader. But uh, so I just wanted to express those thoughts. Um, in addition, I want to continuously remind the uh, residents that um, those who attend this meeting, we invite you to park uh, somewhere other than in the paved area to the north uh, that's uh, owned by the fire department. But I didn't see any vehicles out there, so I think that's a good sign. Uh, uh, that's the mayor's report. Uh, not much else to, to bring to your attention. So let's proceed with the agenda approval. Uh, for the city council meeting uh, for uh, tonight. And um, I don't personally have any modifications uh, to uh, make on it. If uh, some of you might have some, now would be the time to uh, make note of it. Uh, yes, I would, would like to be put on the agenda down in public comment. Uh, I would like to address the oh. council, the mayor, and the citizens of the 
Okay. Yeah. Like that. That's okay. Yeah. It isn't um, necessary to add that to the agenda, but uh, you would make note of that, uh, Jill. Okay. Uh, any other comments or observations? Then I'd await council action. I'd like to make a motion to uh, okay. to approve uh, the city council meeting agenda for November 11th. For November the 12th, uh, 2015, as written. Okay, I've heard the <coughs> recommendation of, of to approve the agenda as written. Uh, do we have a second? Second that. Seconded by Mr. Flynn. All in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Okay, motion carries. Now the minutes approval for October 22nd. I make a motion to approve October 22nd, 2015, the city council meeting. Okay, uh, Mr. Pennison has submitted the motion as noted. Uh, do we have a second? I second. Okay, seconded by Mr. Wilson. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Voucher approvals. I'll make a motion to approve the vouchers for the 1st of November 2015 in the amount of $39,803.52. Okay, Mr. Shai. Second. Oh, so, I'm sorry. Yeah, gotta go in steps. Um, <laughs> And Mr. Shai has submitted a motion to approve uh, 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 the voucher total as noted. Uh, we have a second. Mr. Wilson. Second. Okay. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Public comment. You guys went too fast. Just a second. <laughs> yeah, I know we're, we're moving right along, aren't we? Hmm. Okay, well, we know we have Mr. Wilson. Okay. Else, so. All right, Mr. Wilson, you got three minutes. <laughs> uh, dear Council Mayor and Citizen Debater, on October 8, 2015, during the regular City Council meeting, the Mayor made the decision to read a deplanetary email from a Vader citizen. The citizen, Mike Parsons, was not in attendance at the meeting, and therefore the email was read by the circuit clerk at the direction of the Mayor. Ken Smith. The letter was not only incorrect, it was defamatory, offensive, and a direct assault on my character. It accused me of lying to the citizens of Vader, starting rumors and misleading the voters. None of this is true. I was not given an opportunity to read the letter prior to its reading at the meeting, so I could adequately respond. Instead, the mayor felt it better to ambush and embarrass me at the meeting. I can, I can only summarize the mayor made this decision because he agrees with the citizen and one of my attack character and honor and dignity in public. As most citizens are aware, I am a longtime resident and have been dedicated to the betterment of this town for over 50 years. To have a citizen in concert with the mayor attack my character, honor, and dedication to my duty is offensive. He basically is defamatory. How someone who has only been here a few short months can make some of his accusations and know what is best for town is stunning. I believe the mayor and Mike Parsons owe me a public apology for not only the contents of the letter but also to the manner in which it was delivered. In conclusion, I stand by my comments as not changing the name of our fine city and hope the city citizens of Vader feel the same. I thank you, M.B. Wilson. City Council for 31 years again there. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I feel like a, a heartfelt comment, and I, I think it's uh, appropriate to hear that. Um, I feel that it, it would only be appropriate to respond uh, by uh, expressing uh, the reality that uh, if a citizen has a desire to make a, a written prepared statement, it isn't really the prerogative of the mayor uh, to say no to that individual. And if they make a request to, to have that statement read, they are a resident of the city of Bader, um, during that public comment period, uh, the mayor has no uh, say either way to say yes or no. It's his right and privilege. And so we invited the city clerk to read that letter. And it wasn't in concert in an effort to humiliate you. Uh, he expressed the thoughts that were in his heart and mind. Um, uh, and certainly, uh, you well, may want to take offense uh, at that, but um, uh, 
Uh, he, he just happened to step in. Mr. Wilson just read uh, the statement uh, condemning uh, the letter that was read uh, that you uh, authored. Uh, uh, so Mr. Parsons uh, happens to be here, and I've just explained that he has a right to have that read as a matter of public record during the, the public portion of this meeting. So I personally extend no apologies on behalf of that, and I personally have the information that he noted, and I believe he's accurate. So uh, that's my response. Yes. Now, uh, do we have any others? No. Okay. We do have a comment from a member of the public. Would the counselor sure. defer? Yes, please. So if I, do you like Mike did, yeah. you will read it at every public meeting? At a city okay. council meeting during the public portion of the council meeting. Absolutely. Oh, you. Right, you can experiment with that. Send in a letter. Find it. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, let's proceed uh, with our city council meeting. Uh, with the next day's item of the city business. Oh. Yeah. Uh, we have the. Uh, did you just sign up for public comment? Yeah, is it over already? The council had, we hadn't reached the conclusion of it. So I think uh, under the circumstances, he has a right to defend himself. I don't know what I'm defending against, but I'd love to talk. Okay. Well, uh, all right. Would the council care to listen to Mr. Carson? We'll proceed. Better today than next week. Or yeah, okay. Just get it done. All right. So the only reason that I sent a letter is because I wasn't in town. The stuff in the letter wasn't intended, it wasn't about the argument over there, because we never had an argument, that what the, as the newspaper said. The l stuff in the letter that I was trying to point out was one, you lied, straight up lied to my face. Yes, you show me that email, that's the very first email from the Department of Transportation. And you've also had and seen the other emails that show that it was only $8,000. But I don't know if it's just you forgot or whatever it was, but you just chose not to share that information with anyone else and just put out the $30,000. You also knew that in that letter, I offered to pay the $8,000, but no, you didn't share that information with anybody else. So, to lie, it means give false information. What you did was false information. Now you have a billboard out there that says, keep Vader, and I'm slandering you or whatever. That's a bunch of crap, because you knew that the email came and it was only $8,000, but as a city council person, you decided to put that on the back burner and only share the first email for $30,000 so that you would have it go your way. I truly believe, and I've talked to lots of people out there, they wanted the name change. But Andy Wilson told me it's going to be $30,000 and we just don't have that money. That is what I heard all the time with everybody I talked to. The majority of people want the name change, but it was going to cost too much money because you lied. And as a city council person, people are supposed to be able to trust you. That's it. That's the whole situation. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. That's the purpose of public comment. Thank you both for your passion and your perspective. And let me add, in case there are residents who are concerned about uh, what it means to be uh, to defame someone's character, when an individual uh, runs for public office, the threshold, the legal threshold for defamation of character is way above anything that we've heard. Uh, you acknowledge and accept the reality that there are going to people, be people who might take a difference of opinion. And, uh, uh, you can hire your private attorneys if you'd like to, as you claim it, but in my legal experience, there isn't anything that approximates any defamation of character going on here. Uh, so, uh, but uh, we're all free to exercise our personal rights to uh, have our voice heard. 
with that. Uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, yes. did you read this from the MRS? Um, uh, you have it. Yeah. I would love to read it. Absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> So let's proceed uh, with our city council meeting. Uh, the next uh, agenda item is the city business. Uh, well, item number one is council will consider the resolution 19-2015, which is uh, the interlocal agreement with the Lewis County that pertains to the meter reading services that uh, I, I know that you've been aware of, that we've been trying to hammer out uh, with Lewis County. And so uh, the document that you should have in your possession uh, will enable us to finally uh, approve that memorandum of understanding. So I would await council action on that matter. I'd make a motion. Uh, I think this is all a bunch of picky stuff, so. But I still will make a motion to approve resolution sure. number 19, 2015, authorizing the mayor to enter into an interlocal agreement with Lewis County, Washington, for meter read services and authorizing the mayor to execute the agreement substantially in the form attached to the resolution. Okay, thank you, Mr. Flynn, for uh, uh, setting in motion that motion uh, to approve resolution 19-20-15 as read. Uh, do we have a second? I'll okay. uh, Seconded by Mr. Shai. I didn't say it all the way yet. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if either one of us finished our sentence. <laughs> that was fast. Um, I'll second it. Okay, you got it second. Um, so now sorry. is an opportunity for the council yes. to have extra commentary or a verbiage on it. <coughs> well, but all I can see by reading through here is that the county just wants to get some money from it. They do. Uh, it's going <laughs> to require an uptick in um, our waste utility bills. And, but we're going to ensure that the residents know uh, the reason for it um, uh, to the extent that we can on your little uh, uh, sewer bill. It'll raise the bill by approximately how much? A little less than a dollar. Okay, about 90 cents. Because. Uh, how much was that? Uh, yes. About I believe 90 it was cents. A little less than a dollar. Mm -hmm. We have, um, uh, well, we have a, an action. That this is an opportunity here. Public. Go ahead, yes. Um, can't we absorb that? The, 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 the bi monthly charge. Can't we absorb that in our general fund? Draw some money out so that we're not, it would more increase on that meter. Because once we get the, the thing back, we'll be paying for that anyway, right? the agreement once when and if we get our water back. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I, I don't... Uh... No, we can't take anything out of the general fund for the sewer. Everything that's sewer related has to be paid for out of sewer rates, utility rates mm -hmm. only. We cannot take money... But don't we have a water fund that we're paying into that, no. that maintains the, who's, that's Lewis's? Lewis no. County has all the money relating to the water system, mm -hmm. not us. Uh, what this represents is kind of a double billing because the county is reading the meters as it is. They're just now extending the, the charge of the pay of that employee onto the, uh, the shoulders of the residents of Vader. I mean, he's going to read the water meters regardless. That's why I'm sure Mr. Flynn noted that um, uh, we're being nitpicked here. And I uh, think that it's... Um, only appropriate the residents realize when they see that 90 cent approximately a, a raise in their things that they understand that it's Lewis County that is um, forcing us. And we have fought this uh, for several months uh, with our attorney. It's a big guy being a bully, a little guy. Exactly. Because they, when they took over the water system, you all remember what we used to pay? It was $49 every two months, and we got 4,000 gallons of water included in that charge. County took it over and it went up to eighty-five dollars every two months, and we get nothing, just for the privilege of them sticking a meter in the front of our house. So when I saw this, I don't agree with this kind of garbage. This is garbage, and that's what they're—they're they're, they're just treating it like that. I'm not politically correct. I just say it like it is. I think they're just trying to stiff the little guy here. Yeah. And then I would hope that the residents are, don't like it, then, then feel free to communicate with the county commissioners and let them know uh, that you don't appreciate that. But uh, ultimately, uh, 
our objective is to get that system back, and that will eliminate that um, nitpicking little expense. So uh, uh, we're working hard to qualify to get that system back, and then we'll manage it differently. So I'd like to yes. thank the mayor and the paid staff for looking into this so closely. Originally, the county was going to charge us for the meter reads in Enchanted Valley as well. Yes. Um, and then um, after mm -hmm. closer observation by our staff, uh, they realized that and the county cut our bill in half that they were going to charge the city. Yeah. So, um, well, thank you for making thank you note of that. For looking into that so, and paying attention. Uh, so, um, well, with that, is there any other council input or feedback? Uh, if not, then let's put the matter to a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Motion's carried. Wonderful. <coughs> Okay, uh, now uh, um, the next item is the Planning Committee and Park Board Vacancies and Assignments. <coughs> Let's see now. I'm going to the work here. <coughs> A lot has been happening. <coughs> I can tell you that, um, uh, just so you're aware, uh, we have received a letter uh, dated November 9th from uh, Mrs. Christine Cole. Uh, she uh, is a member of the Bader City Planning Committee. She's a resident in the Enchanted Valley, uh, the five-acre uh, zone. And uh, she uh, submitted a letter uh, to the city on that date um, requesting that uh, her, member, her participation of the Planning Committee be terminated effective the date of that letter immediately. And um, um, I will personally ensure that uh, the council members, if you would like to see a copy of that letter, um, uh, can do so. Uh, the letter uh, contains a number of um, uh, comments and statements which um, I think are inaccurate, um, uh, condescending, demeaning, uh, sarcastic, and cynical. Uh, but um, I won't um, share the contents with it in this public meeting, but would invite any who would like to read it to do so. I uh, officially accept her resignation and um, uh, would um, uh, invite you to consider this uh, letter which I prepared announcing uh, her resignation. <coughs> and to, uh, because um, the guidelines of the planning committee require that uh, any resignation such as this be uh, conducted at the next earliest city council meeting and um, uh, that it be written. So I would invite you to confirm my recommendation that she be terminated as a member of the planning committee at, at her request. So we need a motion on that? Yes, we would. I'll put a motion up that we confirm her, <coughs> that we confirm her resignation as of 11-12-14, uh, and that would be Mrs. Cole's resignation. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, so we have a... a, a Motion to approve that um, recommendation. We have a second. I'll second that. Seconded by Mr. Olson. Any commentary? All in favor, say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? That motion is carried. <coughs> okay. Um, <coughs> I call your attention to a, uh, a second uh, letter that I'd like um, council to consider. This is um, a kind of a a fast-moving situation, <coughs> but um, <coughs> I'll uh, just um, um, share the contents of this letter which I drafted uh, earlier today. Um, as uh, you're probably aware, members uh, serving on the, Bader, uh, the City of Bader Park Board do so at the discretion of the Mayor and the Bader City Council. Um, members of the park board may be released at any time without cause, of which action must be submitted in writing by the mayor for council confirmation. After careful consideration, I have come to the conclusion that at this time it is appropriate and necessary to make two changes on the current City of Ader Park Board. I feel it's in the best interest of the park board to release Jason Daly and Richard Bryce from <coughs> service as park board members. It served the board and the community well during their tenure, and I would ask that you confirm this recommendation at the earliest opportunity. Okay. 
conjunction with this action, I'm pleased to report that I've identified an individual who's expressed great interest in serving the city of Bader as a member of the park. The individual is Mr. Mike Parsons. Uh, and Mr. Parsons is with us. And, uh, I appreciate you being here. I've interviewed Mr. Parsons at length and can affirm that he is qualified uh, for the ordinance guidelines to serve on the board and has the skills and resources to make a significant contribution to the betterment of our community. I therefore recommend him to you for your confirmation as a new member of the City of Bader Park Board and to confirm the, uh, the dismissal of Jason Daly and Richard Bryce on it. And that I, well, um, we would then still have one vacancy on the Park Board and that I will engage uh, in uh, the appropriate efforts to uh, fill that remaining vacancy. So, um, uh, that's the agenda item that I would uh, invite the Council to consider for appropriate action. Any a motion on that? Uh, yes, we would need a motion for both of those. Okay, I'll put a motion on the table that we approve the uh, <coughs> the, the resignation or the re, uh, the release of Jason Daly and Richard Bryce from the Park Board, and I would uh, ask that we affirm uh, Mike Parsons as a new member of the Park Board. Okay, well, we've had a motion uh, to um, confirm the release of um, uh, Jason Daly and Richard Bryce as members of the Park Board, and. Um, Approval of the confirmation of Mr. Parsons uh, as a member of the park board. Uh, we have a second. A second. A second by Mr. Olson. Any other commentary? Hearing none. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Good motion is given. Thank you very much. Uh, I think that's a significant uh, uh, improvement and will energize and vitalize. Uh, and I would invite uh, 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 Mr. Parsons. Uh, we're going to uh, swear in two new members of the planning committee uh, tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock here at City Hall. If uh, you the schedule would allow it, we'd invite you to come and we'll officially swear you in tomorrow. Okay. And uh, on that note, I would like to ensure that the council is aware that tomorrow we have a public hearing for the planning committee, uh, which um, uh, we'll be short a member, but we will still have four uh, members, so we'll have a, a, a quorum to conduct that public hearing. Uh, it'll be tomorrow at 5 o'clock. And so if any of you are interested, it has to do with um, the uh, marijuana issue confronting the community. So uh, come and uh, participate if you feel so inclined. <coughs> uh, item number three. Can yes. we do a swap of three and four? <laughs> I forgot to grab that paperwork, so I need to run and grab that off my desk. Okay. So, so we swap three and four. Yeah. So Will the council approve uh, 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 jumping to item four and coming back to item three? Yes. Okay. Sure. All right. No deal. Thank you. <coughs> so uh, let's uh, jump uh, to the council discussion related to changes to the contract for Lewis County Sheriff's Office services. <coughs> Uh, you should have in your hands a letter. I, yes. I, I have read the contract that they proposed, and with all the years of service I've been in this in the city here, is that I think what they're talking about is a very good deal. And uh, but the, we went through a lot of money with the law enforcement around here, and we don't have the type of money for and the equipment that you have to buy and you know, everything goes on with it and myself I would even make a motion that we accept the sheriff's uh, thing here at $72,000 <coughs> myself I mean I, I just went through this before any of you ever came into town and uh, I was very fortunate 
for the commentary. Uh, he has submitted a motion uh, to uh, uh, accept this proposal. And uh, that is the essence of what uh, the sheriff's representatives, uh, uh, Rob Snauza and Wes Retvo, uh, came to us and they presented this to us uh, as a proposed budget um, uh, total for 2016. And uh, this uh, represents um, uh, one fourth of a normal budget for a city our size. Obviously, we uh, deal with the realities that we're only getting half-time coverage, but it is flexible, and it, um, uh, uh, I think we're getting a high-quality product. So we don't agree on everything, but uh, I share your perspective. I am very glad you said that because here comments in town. Oh, I see them parked, parked here and there. Well, they don't realize why a police officer sometimes parks. He parks for a reason. He's looking for something that was going on or, or whatever, and they don't understand that. And, and not a, saying anything bad about those type of people, but they don't know law enforcement. Well, uh, well said. Uh, I think in the last election cycle, uh, you probably noted that uh, there has been a, a call for a restoration of our the City of Bader Police uh, Department. Um, uh, obviously, comments like that uh, don't uh, represent an accurate understanding and awareness of uh, uh, the budget constraints that we've got at this moment in time until we can get our water system back and the function of the community with some growth to provide the resources. Here we have two more years. Yeah. That's going to be good for us. Uh, uh, well said. So there is a motion before the council. Um, uh, do we have a I'll second that. Noted. Uh, we have a second from Mr. Plan. And now, uh, additional commentary. Yes, I, I think it's uh, really important for people to realize on this contract, that's less money than we paid in our contract last year. And every other, t Winlock was fighting major increases on their police, and uh, Toledo went through the same thing. And here we are getting good coverage. They were fighting to get the coverage we got, we have, and they couldn't get it. So this town should be very pleased and very thankful that we have the coverage we do for that price. Uh, I think everybody will admit they've seen a major improvement in the coverage that we have versus what you see, what we used to have. If, um, if we had had to deal with our own police department on the, the horrific um, uh, mur murder of uh, that um, baby boy, uh, we have been bankrupt uh, for probably an ir irrecoverable financial uh, hardship. That's right. Here. So, we have a, a comment from a member of the public at this time. Mm -hmm. A question. I was amazed at the cost of just maintaining and insuring squad cars. Do you all remember what it was? If we had our own police department, we'd have to insure and maintain the squad cars. And I was just blown away by how much that cost. And I don't remember yeah. what the figure was. Uh, there's nothing cheap about um, maintaining uh, the insurance uh, coverage for law enforcement and the uh, vehicle in particular. Okay, well with that, um, uh, seeing that, uh, hearing uh, no uh, additional commentary, let's put it to a vote. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? The motion is carried and I commend the council for that uh, supportive response. <coughs> now let's uh, jump uh, back up to item three. Uh, it's a fairly straightforward issue. Council to consider the Nortec pay request for uh, the first installment of their pay for the site sewer project that they're in the midst of. At <coughs> that round, uh, I know that you're familiar enough with how these contracts work. They're asking for their first installment. And correct me if I'm misstating something on that. No, that's all correct. <coughs> so I would await council action. I'll put a motion forward that we uh, approve the payment as noted. Okay, Mr. Flynn has uh, submitted a motion to, uh, to approve the payment as noted. 
uh, but um, should we note that it's $16,503.01? Are you okay with that, Mr. Plain? Well, they have here the subtotal of 17, well, that's 5% well, retained, so we're gonna, we should say the whole thing. The uh, subtotal is $17,305.68, yes, less a 5% retainage on a base bid of $802.68, giving us an amount of $16,503.01. And uh, so the public is aware, and full disclosure and transparency, all of this is grant funding that's already been approved and, and uh, uh, is available from the city. That's one of those grants that we don't get anymore. Uh, this was a grant that the people got adva take advantage of. It didn't cost them anything. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, all right. Well then, um, do we have to? Thank you very much, Ben. Then, any council commentary? Put it to a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Okay. Mr. Terry. At this time, it will be our um, um, privilege to engage in an official public hearing. <coughs> Related to public comments regarding the ad valorem city property tax rate 2016. This is an annual requirement uh, that we do as uh, council considers whether or not we will accept the city's or the state's uh, authorization to uh, increase property tax. Um, and um, uh, you're required to have a public hearing on that topic. So I'm going to um, uh, adjourn. We're supposed to have a motion, I found out, oh, okay. to well, do well, the starting and yeah. stopping. Hey. Yeah. Every year you have to be reminded of such things. <laughs> um, do we have a motion to engage in the public hearing uh, for uh, uh, 10 minutes or so? Uh, make a motion. We'll make a motion that we uh, uh, engage in a public hearing uh, for the tax rates of 2016. Property tax. Property, Property tax. tax. Okay. Um, Okay, Mr. Olson has submitted a motion to um, uh, uh, engage in a public hearing of for how long? Uh, ten minutes. Okay, uh, for ten minutes. Mm -hmm. um, uh, for public comment relating to uh, the uh, Ed Valorum uh, City Property Tax Rate 2016. Mm -hmm. Do we have a second? I'll second. Seconded by Mr. Flynn. Comment? <coughs> All in favor say aye. Aye. Are there any opposed? Okay. And so I will temporarily adjourn this council meeting. We will begin a 10 minute of public comment on the, uh, as uh, described in the motion, uh, which will begin at 6 50 41 p.m. Okay. Uh, in order to initiate this, I know that there have been residents who came in and asked for information so that uh, they might comment. Did we have any? Well, let's find out. Um, asking for information relating to that topic. <coughs> but um, I don't see any of them here. So, um, there it is. Um, if you have any questions, or a, not question. This isn't. A, this is your opportunity to share thoughts, concerns, uh, or observations you might have about um, uh, council's um, consideration of raising your property taxes. How much? So. <laughs> that asked me if I had an opinion. Do you want me to make some yes, clarification? Might be okay. Um, Every year we have to go through training about this because it's very complicated. But um, basically there are several taxing districts that can affect one piece of property. And one of the taxing districts is the city. The city has the ability to tax uh, property values for monies to be used for city administration um, and, and other services throughout the city. Other taxing districts might be a uh, cemetery district, a fire district, um, a local hospital, uh, schools. Uh, so there's lots of different reasons to have other taxing districts. The portion of your taxes that come from the city 
are right now set at, as of 2015, the levy rate is set at 2.79045 and on and on and on per thousand dollars of value of your real and personal property. Um, that ensures the city to receive 70985 70, $70, dollars 31 cents is how much is billed out to the taxpayers um, on the city's behalf. Um, if everybody pays their taxes, that's how much the city gets. Uh, the city splits that 78% um, to the current fund, which pays for your police and your, um, your general administration, and um, then the uh, other 22% goes to your street fund. That's the way the city has it set up right now. You can change, city council can change that if they choose, but 22% of that goes towards uh, keeping your streets up. And so um, every year the city is allowed to increase a maximum of 1% over the previous year. Um, so our current levy rate brings us in $70,985, so that would be $709.85 would be 1%. That's the most that the city is allowed to increase in one year. Um, the, uh, however, if the city has not increased every year for at 1%, they can save up that amount. So it's called a bank capacity. So if, let's say in 2005, you didn't, the city chose not to increase the tax rate, they can save that 1% to use at another time. So, so far, up to this point, the city has banked 4.96%. Um, so, the most the city could request would be 5.96%. So, that's the 4.96 uh, bank capacity plus the 1% for this year. So, that's the most that the city could request. So, that would be about $3,500, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, if the city wanted to use all of that. Um, let's see. Um, the, unfortunately, the county does not have our current data sheets available yet. Um, so I gave you one from last year that at least gives you a ballpark. Um, so uh, at least gives you some of the breakdown of what the information looks like for the city. Um, so the city, I guess the council gets to decide if they need some more revenue. Um, or not. And if they do, then they have this as an opportunity. Um, one of the people were pointing out that if you compare our city rate to the other cities that are around here, that our rate is the highest among all of them. And um, I said that is very true. And that is because the city doesn't have any business to fund all the things that other cities have, business, taxes, and things coming in to fund all the things that, that we have to pay for as a city. Since we don't have any businesses, then the only way we can um, fund the city is through the, the tax rate. Yeah, yeah. So um, the I know that council has been working hard to try to keep the costs of different things, um, like the building, uh, permitting and things like that, even trying to make sure that the rates and costs that are set for those will pay for themselves, basically, pay for the, the amount of time and um, uh, costs like to the building official and stuff that the permit should pay for that. And so we're, we're working on making sure that that's well balanced so that those things aren't additional costs to those who don't use them. So just those who, who need those services. Um, We'll be paying for them. Um, do you guys have any questions? Um, I'd like to quickly insert here, this is what it is aware of, but um, like um, City Court mentioned, we have to have the highest uh, of the some of the communities in the southwest Little County area, but um, you don't have a document in front of you. We're not that much higher. No. We're all within uh, one half of one percent yeah. from the others. Um, all of those other communities have businesses that generate the sales tax that um, enable them to augment. Although I will always throw out uh, the also the uh, we have uh, uh, this doesn't count 
the fire district and the school district taxes which are added to our expenditure. We have, um, unfortunately, some of the highest um, uh, collective taxes just because of, uh, uh, well, I believe, the short-sighted effort of um, some residents in our community who voted against our school. And so now we're part of the Castle Rock School District, which has um, the second highest um, uh, tax total added to ours uh, in all of the Southwest Washington. So, uh, in case any aren't aware of that, uh, I think it's important to understand. And uh, I would then note to the council that uh, did they get the budget proposal? Yep. Uh, they should have had that. And uh, uh, unless something's changed, uh, it's my recommendation that there not be uh, an increase in our property tax. Uh, in case some of you happen to think that uh, our job is to raise rates. I'm extremely sensitive to such things. I hope it's noted by, um, and that if you hear that, you will share that with your neighbors and friends. Having gone through an election cycle where some of that information has not been passed along to your neighbors and friends. So, uh, we still have some time. The 700 number and the 3500 number, that is what my property taxes go up for 1%, 735. No, 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 no. That's the total amount that the city would receive if we increase the rate by 1%. The total the city would receive from all the taxpayers put together is $709. And if you went to say And if you went up to the, yeah, it would be about 3500 So roughly $1 per citizen in your household, give or take. It's different because of property tax. But yeah. dollar is a dollar. Dave. Just yeah. saying, annually a dollar. That's right. For you. That's right. So, just to put it in perspective. And for every dollar we don't pay, there's one dollar that's not in the street paving fund. So, it's a give and it's a take. And, uh, you complain about potholes, uh, then uh, pay another dollar. And you have $700 that the council could put in your paving fund. So, then we get what we pay for. Yeah. Well, Mayor, I'll, I'll agree with you, Mayor, because uh, there's a lot of people in this town going through a tough year. Absolutely. And um, I know a buck is a buck, but uh, it sure would be nice to say that we didn't have to raise it because the city is dealing with surplus, and it would be nice to pass that on to the citizens. But the grant that Joe just did, you know, I mean, that's another avenue to get That's the right. And as long as we maintain the surplus and we follow all the rules, then we're we have access to all these grants, so we have to we have to make sure we balance that also. Because if we get ourselves in trouble financially, we don't qualify for grants. So we want to make sure we stay in a position that we qualify for free money. I think everybody likes to be in that position. We are. Right. So uh, obviously we're somewhat sensitive here because uh, I know my name is on a number of billboards that were blatantly false. They're claiming that. that misguided leadership. This city is as financially stable as any community in all of Lewis County, and more so. And we have a surplus that enables us to have matching funds to apply for these grant funds, which we hope we'll get. When will we find out? We'll this next, week. next week. So, um, uh, obviously for four months, I drove around this community uh, looking at it. Maybe I'm a little hypersensitive, but I think you would all be in that situation. Uh, I, I think that our city has been fiscally and financially responsible in ways that have exceeded the last 40 years in city of We are poised uh, to engage in some dramatic improvement. We just stay the course. Uh, now is not the time for change of leadership. But we'll know on November 23rd if uh, this change that has uh, been so uh, uh, fervently uh, demanded happens. Or not. So, sorry. For the old adage of being um, penny wise and dollar foolish applies to it. I work very hard for my money like most mm -hmm. people do. I've never made much money, but I respect people on tight budgets. But if we want businesses to come when we can get our water in this room, we have to have respect for the town. And then can you give us a little insight? Because I've lived here less than five years. What shape was the city in financially 10 years ago? Because I received a lot of the information about the school being lost because of you, and you weren't the mayor.
there, and even if you were, you couldn't get rid of the school because that's another government branch. But anyway, what what shape vaguely would everyone to share with us was the city in financially ten years ago? Yeah. I can tell you that uh, unbeknownst to the world. Uh, the city of Bader was teetering on financial collapse because of um, the, um, what eventually was discovered in 2009, that uh, the bills were, had not been paid for four years. Uh, they had been paying the late fees. Uh, uh, by that I mean uh, public employees. And uh, uh, so uh, this city was teetering on financial ruin. And uh, since 2009, we have recovered, offset that um, uh, failure to pay those bills and now are operating in the black uh, and have had two straight years of financial findings for each public. And thanks to the city council members who have integrity and uh, some competence. And, and so uh, I uh, tip my hat to all of you and to our city clerk. So I hope that answers your question. I'd like to interrupt you a little bit about when I left office as mayor in 2003, we were in the black. And then Mr. Chastain started in 2000, January of 2004. And then Mr. Smith, Mayor Smith, excuse me, <laughs> uh, started going up. And uh, the city was starting to get out of the, the red and everything else. And here we are today. Stay near where the black. But in 2003, we had money, and we look in the record and find that out. And, uh, but then in 2004, in 2004, when you was uh, 2008. I mean 2008. Yeah. Four years later, uh, he took office, and then. Uh, but things were bad in, in that year. That all began to go south when the state discontinued the license plate of, of revenue coming to the city. They, they turned the tap off over a four to five year period, went from $68,000 a year down to nothing. And that was when the bills started to be hard to pay. And you can point right to that, uh, to, the, uh, to the crisis that we dealt with in 2000. So, hey, Steve. Have it. now uh, we were had ten minutes allocated. Last call for comments from the public relating to the ad valorem property tax. Okay. Um, uh, with that, uh, seeing no additional comments, um, I will declare uh, the public hearing closed. And now it would be the, the council's uh, privilege and opportunity to uh, act on the input feedback provided. Will they discuss in 2016? Can you give me a time? Oh, uh, yes, at um, uh, 6.55 p.m. <coughs> All right, we'll proceed uh, with the agenda. The last item is an executive session. Um, uh, we will um, uh, again adjourn this council meeting uh, uh, to consider, uh, to engage in an executive session to consider the selection of a site for the acquisition of real estate by lease or purchase when public knowledge regarding such consideration would cause a likelihood of increased price. Uh, this executive session will last for 10 minutes um, and uh, I would uh, um, uh, adjourn this meeting temporarily at 6.52 p.m. We will come back in 10 minutes and uh, at which time you, if you desire to stay you will hear
say that uh, according to what we heard, <clears throat> the original objections uh, presented uh, talked about digging cores 15 foot deep and a lot of other garbage. <clears throat> and I, I, I agree with the conclusion to that scientist saying that uh, uh, it's, it's very unlikely there's going to be an oil tank there. And uh, for the other problems, he suggested taking four shovel deep cores, about eight inches to 12 inches deep. Six to 12. Five, five cores. Six to 12 inches. Yeah, six to 12. That's about a shovel. And uh, have those tested and go, f go from there. And that, did that lower the cost to 12 to $1,400? $1,200. $1,200, yeah, 12 to $1,400. That's still within an acceptable range of the monies we have for purchase, and I, I, my recommendation is that we would go ahead with it and uh, do, do the minimal amount. Uh, the other things they asked for were just way out, way off the charts. That was crazy. Okay. Uh, other council comments? <coughs> do we have a? a oh, we do have a, a comment from a member of the public, the park board chairman. I was curious. Where did this come up? that there was an underground tank there. Because in those days, they didn't have underground tanks. And they were all gravity fed. It was a, a, a misconclusion. We'll just leave it at that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> a lot of misinformation gets percolated about this community, doesn't it? It's fascinating. <clears throat> Uh, but, um, um, okay, so uh, I, I believe that given the fact that um, there is some urgency uh, because we have a 60-day window for the council to decide whether to proceed with the acquisition of that property mm -hmm. and understanding that uh, there ought to be uh, that environmental uh, analysis conducted, <clears throat> I'd uh, hope that the council would engage in a motion to... I Mr. Wilson. I would second what. Well, was that a motion? Is that a motion? That's a motion. Okay. Well, I didn't say motion, but I'll make a motion that we ex accept the uh, first uh, criteria of making uh, okay. five shovel deep cores, eight, eight inches to 12 inches deep, and have those tested and move ahead with it. Okay. Uh, at 12 and, to 1400 hours. Consider that a motion submitted by Mr. Flynn to. Uh, accept the strategy to engage in uh, several uh, core samples uh, and, um, uh, and um, we'll negotiate the price um, that's consistent with the $1,200 to $1,400 fee and uh, uh, in furtherance of that uh, consummation of the acquisition of that property. Okay. Uh, did that capture your motion? That did sure you have did. a comment? I, yeah, I just needed a clarification. Are we saying that we're going to go ahead with the purchase and we'll do the testing mm -hmm. as well, or we're going to do the testing and wait for the results in order to make the purchase. Mm -hmm. no, we're going to make the purchase and move ahead. Okay. That was the motion. And the reason is, uh, in the scientist's uh, recommendation, uh, she said if we did find something, we'd have to bulldoze two inches of soil off and haul it away. That would be the solution. And she also said it would be very unlikely that we would find the contaminant they're looking for. So we can just move ahead. Okay. And you understood that uh, modification that is for, towards the purchase of the property uh, and then testing or in conjunction or simultaneously, might be the word. Uh, do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Mr. Wilson. <clears throat> um, all right. Additional comments, concerns, uh, members of the council? Uh, all right, hearing none, let's put it to a vote. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Motion is carried. Okay, thank you. Uh, we just uh, uh, cleared a major hurdle in the uh, expansion of the uh, Bader City park, uh, park in the heart of this community. So I commend the City Council for that action. But, uh, once again, we're inching forward and improving the quality of life in this community. And at that, I would declare this uh, City Council meeting adjourned at 7.18 p.m. <laughs> Thank you.